So let's try our hands on this example here. The question says that show that the two function y equals c squared minus s squared all in bracket to the power half and y equals minus bracket open c squared minus s squared to the power half are both solutions to this given differential equation here. So to do this, we are first of all going to prove for the first function. So that for that we have we have y to be equal to c squared minus x squared to the power 1 over 2. Okay, so I have to prove that this function is a solution to this differential equation here. Let me write down the differential equation. That's x plus y multiplying the y over the x. Okay, this should be equal to what is 0. So, what you are going to do is that looking at this differential equation, it contains the first derivative for the function y okay with respect to x so let's find the first derivative for this function y here okay so that would be dy over the x okay so this will be called to i'm going to find the derivative of what we have here so that was 1 over 2 multiplying c squared minus what x squared all to the power of half minus one so that was minus half okay this will multiply the derivative of what you have in the bracket c squared is just a constant so its derivative will go to zero and then we are going to have minus the the derivative of what x squared so that was minus what two x okay this is what you have now so now simplifying this i'm going to have dy over the x and then this will be called to this minus two here can multiply this one here so then you're going to have what minus 2 over over 2 okay then x then you have what you're going to have c squared you're going to have c squared minus what x squared to the power what minus half okay so from here you can see that these two can cancel out these two so you're going to have dy over the x to be equal to minus x multiplying c squared minus x squared to the power of minus half okay so that's for dy over dx so now all you have to do is to substitute into the differential equation so now let's go ahead So let's take note of this. So this is the derivative that we have here. Okay, so let's take note of that one also. And then we have the actual function y to be equal to what c squared minus x squared to the power of half. Okay, so let's substitute this into the differential equation. So for the differential equation, we have what x plus y dy over the x equals what zero. Okay, let's compute this separately. Okay, so let's do that separately. So y dy over the x will be equal to what y, which is what c squared minus what x squared to the power half right times what dy right so that's what times minus x multiply what c squared minus x squared to the power what minus half okay so this is what we have now this is what we have now okay so when we look at what you have here we can transform it right so we can have y dy over the x to be equal to c squared minus what x squared to the power half okay times minus x multiply what one over what c squared minus what x squared to the power what half okay this is what you have now okay i just wrote this the other way since it is since it was raised to the power of negative half so from here this half can this side can cancel out what we have here so we are going to have y 
the y over the x to be equal to what? minus x so you just come and substitute into this differential equation here so you are going to have what? x plus what minus x and then this should be equal to a zero and then when we do this you are going to have x minus x and then that should be equal to a zero so this tells us that what this function here okay satisfy the given differential equation we are going to do same for the second function also so let's go ahead and then look at that also Okay, so for the second function, it is giving us y equals minus c squared minus x squared to the power half. Okay, so let's prove that this is also a solution to this differential equation x plus y dy over dx equals what? Zero. So let's show that this is also a solution to this differential equation here so this differential equation contains the first derivative of what the function y so we are going to what differentiate this function here so that gives us what dy over dx okay and then that should be equal to what minus half multiplying what c squared minus what x squared to the power what minus half okay we are going to reduce this by one okay then the derivative of what what you have inside c squared is just a constant so the derivative of what will be zero minus what two x okay so when you do this you're going to have dy over the x to be equal to what minus two minus minus two x okay divided by two okay multiplying c squared minus what x squared to the power what? minus half okay so this is what you have now so this minus will cancel out this minus so it become what plus so that be dy over dx and then that be equal to what 2x over what, 2 multiplying c squared minus x squared to the power what, minus half so these two cancel out these two and they are going to have dy over dx to both x multiplying c squared minus x squared to the power of minus half okay so now that we know this we just have to substitute into the differential equation to see if it satisfies it so now let's go ahead and look at this okay so we have the differential equation here okay we have this differential equation here so first of all i'm going to focus on y multiplying what's its derivative so that what y dy over what dx so let's compute this first we know y to be what minus c squared minus what x squared x squared to the power what half and then we know dy over dx to be x multiplying what c squared minus what x squared to the power what minus half okay so i'm going to rewrite what i have here okay so we are going to have y dy over the x to be equal to minus c squared minus what x squared to the power half times what x okay multiplying what one over c squared minus x squared to the power one over two i will take this way because of what the negative sign here okay so let's take note of that so when i do this this will cancel out this and then and then i'm going to have y dy over the x to be equal to what minus x this is what you have now so now let's come and substitute into this differential equation so that what x plus what y dy over the x and then you know that is what minus x so that what x minus x and then that will be equal to what, zero which means that that also satisfy the different the given differential equation so that's all for this lesson.